Hi, it's Alana. Welcome to the Praying Christian Women podcast. So glad you're here, as always. So thankful for those of you who have subscribed, sent us such encouraging emails, left us reviews. We appreciate it so much. Also, a big shout out to those of you who have already gone on to purchase our course on prayer journaling. I really want to thank you for that and also let you know how much we're praying that that experience for you is amazing and that the videos and resources will really be a blessing to your spiritual walk. If you haven't grabbed it yet, you can get the course with all kinds of videos and prayer journal prompts, downloads, exercises, all in bite-sized chunks you can do on the go at prayingchristianwomen.com slash journaling. I really hope to see you in the course If you've been around in the Praying Christian Women community at all, you know what a huge fan I am of prayer journaling. Not as a badge where I can say, yes, I do this every single day. Look at what a wonderful saint I am. There are days I forget. There are days I'm too tired. There are days when I say, yeah, I probably should do this. I don't feel like it. The wonderful thing about God and prayer journaling is that You don't have to be perfect. There is absolute grace, right? So if you're the kind of person who maybe gets a little bit scared of committing to something like a daily prayer journal, I just want you to know that you get all of these benefits, even if you do this sporadically. You just get more of the benefits more regularly if you do them regularly. Doesn't mean you got to do it 100% without missing a single day or, you know, God's going to be up there waving his finger at you and tutting his tongue and saying, oh, I can't believe she missed today, right? Not the God that we serve. And I am so thankful for grace. I hope that you are too. So why do I love prayer journaling so much? We've already talked about it multiple times in the past several episodes. If you have bought the course, you have heard even more just what an amazing gift God has given us in this opportunity we have to connect with him through prayer and what an amazing gift to prayer journaling can be just to stay focused, gain clarity, all these benefits that um, I don't even have time to go into, but I get so excited and so enthusiastic about and hope that you do too. Today, I want to talk about ways that you can use your prayer journal that you may not have thought of yet. I think when people think of a prayer journal, either one or two things come into mind. One is just lists of people to pray for, you know, in a notebook or something. And the other is like a diary. Dear God, today I did this. I'm thankful for that. I love doing both of those. I am a huge fan of lists in my prayer journals. I also have a separate journal that's devoted just for writing things out. And so I do, I do both of those, but I will be the first to admit, I do get bored. I don't like my prayer routine to always look the same. I begin to feel like it's getting stagnant. So I want to talk about a couple things that you can do with your prayer journal just to spice things up some. So you can do these even if you're not into prayer journaling at all. So, you know, let's say you're waiting for someone at a restaurant and you have a napkin and a pen and you just want to try one of these out one time, totally fine. This is not something that you need to commit to do every single day or anything like that. Um, Several of these are things I'll only do, you know, once a month, once a quarter, but I'll do them at times when I feel like I'm, I'm ready for something a little bit new or different. So I wanted to share some of these ideas with you on ways to kind of spice up your prayer journal life. So here we go. So if you are crafty, you might love this idea. If you're not, you might not love this idea, but that's okay. Have you ever considered keeping a prayer journal scrapbook? This could look a couple different ways. So it could be something as simple as like a family photo album. And as you flip through the page, you pray for each person pictured. Or it can be like at one point we would collect, um, what is it called? Voice of the Martyrs, their newsletter. I would cut out the headlines or some of the profiles of the Christians that they were asking their readers to pray for, and I would keep them all in a notebook. And this truly was like a prayer scrapbook. You could also do this with things like um, current events, you know, newspaper headlines, magazine headlines. If you just want to remember to 
pray for these things on an ongoing basis. What was really fun when I made my scrapbook out of the Voice of the Martyr resource and newsletter is they would give updates. So maybe in June, I cut out a picture of Li Ying in China who was arrested for printing Christian resources on an underground printer. And three months later, I heard that she was free. So I got to write on her picture in a big Sharpie free and see that very visual answer to my prayers. So prayer scrapbooking, another way you can do it is do something digital. You can set up a gallery of photos on your phone of people you want to pray for. When you see a headline in the news, like on a website, you could take a screenshot of that and put it in a file. So, you know, how many of us when we're standing in line at the store just pull out our phones to waste time, you could pull that out and use it as your prayer list. Or, you know, maybe even take pictures of people to remember to pray for them. So you're talking to someone at church and you say, okay, I'm going to pray for you. If you don't think that it's going to make them feel too weird, you can say, hey, can I take your picture? Because I pray through these people in my digital photo album over breakfast or something like that. So many different ways you can do this. There's another thing that I have only recently started to do in my prayer journal. And it's a little weird, so I feel a little bit awkward talking about it. I think Jamie and I talked about it on the show once, and I had to ask him, like, Jamie, is this absolutely weird? And she was like, no, it's a little weird, but it's still pretty cool, too. So I will go ahead and talk about that again. That is doodling. Okay, so most of us think is doodling is something a kid does when they're bored in class, right? What I have started to do, and again, not every day, just, you know, sometimes if I feel like I'm kind of bored with my normal routine I'm going through, I will just draw some doodles. And sometimes I'll know what I'm drawing. You know, I might start with a picture of my family. Sometimes I'm just drawing like shapes and stuff. But then after I draw it, I'll look and I'll be like, oh, what's this? This looks like a tree just as an example. So I see what looks like a tree. That reminds me to pray for the fruit of the Spirit. So I'll take a minute to pray for the fruit of the Spirit. I'll see, oh, this looks like a car. That reminds me that my friend Joe asked the church to pray because his car is broken and he doesn't have the funds to, to get it fixed. So, or if that feels way too weird, what you can do is just say, okay, I'm going to be praying for Micah, whoever Micah is. So you draw a little picture of Micah, you know, just as a way to keep keep all your senses engaged and maybe even invite a little bit of your creative mind into your prayers just for a little bit of extra, extra something, um, just to keep from getting stagnant and bored, right, in your prayer life. So one more way that you can use your prayer journal in a way that you might not have thought of is to use your prayer journal to keep track of your to-do lists. And some people might have an issue with this because they might think, oh, well, my prayer journal is supposed to be about my spiritual things, but my you know, to-dos, that doesn't matter. So first of all, everything matters to God, right? And second of all, I find that keeping my to-do list as part of my prayer journal has two real benefits. The first one is just this practical thing. So let's say I'm praying for my kids and all of a sudden I remember that they have a dentist appointment tomorrow. I could either have in this little tiny part of my brain, dentist appointment tomorrow, dentist appointment tomorrow, dentist appointment tomorrow, just going on and on and on. Or I could write on the page in my prayer journal that I use to keep track of my to-dos, Dentist tomorrow. And then that frees up my brain to not have to keep track of that information so that I can focus on actually praying for my kids. So that's one of the benefits. The other benefit is it invites us to, sorry, it's, it's our way of inviting God, I should say, into our day-to-day -day schedule. And so I have a lot of things to keep track of, so I have quite a lot of to-do lists, and I rely on that just for productivity and sanity, but by incorporating that into my prayer time and as part of my prayer journal, that also means that I am regularly praying over these projects. One of the things that I do is at the end of the week, just glance through my to-do lists for the week and pray for the work that I did, that it would actually have an impact and count for something. Or, you know, maybe I had a meeting with somebody that was on my to-do list. I can pray for them. 
So I just wanted to bring this up. You know, a lot, a lot of people are familiar with to-do lists, whether you use them or not, but wouldn't necessarily to think of using them as part of a prayer journal routine. But I really feel like not only the mental space you free up by writing these things down so you don't have to keep thinking about them, but the way that it allows you and just reminds you to be praying over the things that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis has a lot of benefits too. So you can get more tips and practice and videos and exercises when you sign up at prayingchristianwomen.com slash journaling for our course that is all about prayer journaling. And again, we are so excited when you leave your reviews for us or send us emails. We just want to thank you so much for that. And one last time, if you are interested in our course on prayer journaling, you can grab that at prayingchristianwomen.com slash journaling. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and we'll talk to you next time.